Okay, now we're going to write uh, JavaScript function to um, execute the update method over here. So, look at the product handler to handle the database. So, we'll do um, updates product, which is a member. This member is a function, and in order to update the product, you need to pass in the ID, the uh, new name, the current ID, the, the new name, and the new quantity new quantity okay and you need to execute the database so in order to do that you need to access to a transaction and this one is a transaction not read transaction because we need to update so database handler dot db dot transactions okay so you're going to um, to run this transaction. It's going to you. It's going to call to a transaction call uh, callback. So it's gonna be a functions. It's gonna give you that transaction. When it use that transaction to execute SQL, then when we execute this SQL, we need to give our statement, which is delete from. Oh, sorry. This one is update. Update from uh, product. Okay update product sorry not from this update product and you need to uh, set the uh, name equal to the first variable then the quantity equal to second argument where the id equal to third argument okay then the arguments provided will be the name equal to the name the quantity equal to new name sorry this one is a new name quantity equal to the new quantity and the ID is the current ID for the ID over there. Then uh, you may need to uh, provide a function with the um, transaction and the result to check if there isn't a result or uh, how many rows affected by that. But currently it's gonna be one row. Okay, and we're gonna provide another combat for the error if this statement has an error. So statement error. Okay, this one is statement uh, complete or statement result. This one is statement error. We will just uh, console.lock that error. Um, error deleting, deleting uh, product, uh, updating product, sorry. Updating product. Okay, and you place error dot a message over there. And this one we're gonna add a to do. Okay. Alert or, or or display this message to user later on, okay, instead of uh, logging. So um, we don't need to do anything with the result, okay. So um, or if you want to, you can get how many rows affected by this updating, okay. Then now um, that is it. So we're going to. Um, call that method over here so we're gonna call create a method which is delete product okay and when you delete product you're going to use the product handler dot delete product given the current products now um, we need to okay given the uh, current products dot the ID then we need to give the new name and new quantity new name new quantity in order to delete the product we need those kind of information so where can i take the new name for sign var new name equal to we're gonna access to their txt new name from the update form over here okay txt new name and txt new quantity Okay. Uh, dot val take the value attribute bar new quantity equal to this one is on access to txt new quantity dot val okay <coughs> so you have new name new quantity you get to, to the product handler you delete that product so the id and the new name new quantity sorry not delete product update the product this one is update products. This one is update products. Okay. 
so let me just look at the device handler again for this one update product okay then uh look at the um look at um, the page and we already uh, make that on the button update okay on the button update on click it's called to update products so let's just try and see let's just try and see okay okay now look at this one load um i may have some errors so in spades yep that's right so product handler unexpected token product handler so delete um what is the row what the row they say um line 50 so line 50 um let's just look at this one uh update functions as function i need in quantity okay Database handler transactions. Oh, we need to put all this kind of things into the transaction uh, functions, not outside. So let's just look at this one. Database handler. Okay. Where is that? Product handler over here. Okay. Um, The product handler, yeah, function, yes, yes, transaction. We put this transaction into the, we put that compact into the transactions. So it must stay inside the transaction over there. Okay. So we need to reformat the code a little bit. So delete this. So just delete this. Okay. 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 So this one is from execute SQL. Okay. Okay. So that my first but stay inside the transit and I think is right now. Run it. Okay. Mm, this one should stay inside a little bit. Okay, so this one should stay here. This, this, this all should go there. This one should go down here. It is it. Okay, that's reformatting the code a little bit. So click on this one. Click on loads. Um, I still have arrows. So yep, still there is one more arrows. That one is in the index line eighty. Index line eighty update. Oh, it must be a function. We need to define it as a function. So this one is a function. Yeah, okay. Because this one there is no code suggestion, so sometimes we have this kind of error. But it's it's good to know, so we can fix it. Run it again. No, no, what kind of errors and and then we can fix it okay so click on this one click on loads now we could load the data uh, we're gonna update the product to update we'll sign product to okay click on update um and it doesn't show a bit or not so we need to do something like close this dialog will bring us back to the um, previous page Close this one and product two is updated. It's correct, right? So it is updated. So the things is um, let's just close. Click on this one. Update um, one. Okay. Click on update. It is updated. The things is we need to um, inform the user. Okay. We need to inform the user that it is updated. Okay then the user gonna be able to close or are we going to close the dialog ourselves okay we'll try to close the dialog um okay so we're gonna access to that dialog um what is that dialog now uh button update button update okay 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Digs, okay, access to that dialog. Not that an update. So that one is the update dialog. So this is dialog. Okay. Put it under index space access to the side dialog. Then you go and just say close. Okay. We'll close that one after updating. So let's just try and run this again. Okay, it's gone, so it's gone, so it's gone, so it's updates, okay, back to product one, update, okay, let me see if I have any errors, okay, this is an error, so let me just see what is that error is, okay, okay, so that error is about, uh, we, they cannot initialize the they're gonna initialize the dialog. Let's just let's go back to the code. Go back to the code. Let's, let's see. Okay. We we using data link page data link which oh it's okay. Just just remove this one. Use this style then. This one is data dialog equal to true over here. Just use that approach. Okay, so we'll still get back to data dialog equal to true. Okay, so let's just run this one. Okay, and let's just see, click on this one, click on loads. Okay, you click on this, you update this one, put one right. Click on update, we'll change it into one. Okay, click on update. Oh, it's not closing. Your page, sorry, not page source. Um, inspect. Okay, console. Uh, still the same error. Okay, this one data dialog equal to true. Okay, ah, oh, no, this one. It is data raw equal to dialog. This is the one. It must be data wrong like with the dialog dialog. If if we are to close it. Okay, this one let's change back to uh data wrong like with the dialog. So let's let's see, click on this one, load page, click on this one, update, uh back to one. Updated, okay, it's updated back to one. So click on this one, update, this one back to two, click on update, yeah, it's updated. So it's working now. Okay, it's working now. After a while, just just because of several ideas, then um, it was working with data page, uh, data role equal to page, then data dialog equal to true. But then, uh, when we try to use JavaScript to close the dialog, it doesn't accept it as a uh, dialog. So we need to change back into data role equal to data dialog, and also this div again. We must set it as the num num num. num. Uh, is it the, the lever uh, uh, which is the same as the other pages? Okay, so now you are able to uh, insert, update, delete, search already. Okay, and in next video, I'm gonna add in some several uh, other features.